let's get started. Um, I already made a try out and I think I made up my mind what we are going to make with this Peter Webbit kit. And I already make um, a little try out. So we're going to make a folio. And that is that this will go like this. And this is only some trash chipboard that I use, but I did not like it too much. Uh, also not the measurement. So I am a bit a little different from the measurement. So what we are going to need is four of these chipboards and one for the spine and two for the other spine. And these are the measurements. First we are going to do well, we can just do it like this. Um, 21 by 24 and this we need four times. 21 by 5 one time and 21 by two and a half two times. And this is the measurements for centimeters. You can see that. And then in inches, it's 8, 2 of an 8 by 9, 3 of an 8 inch, mm -hmm. 4 times. And then 8, 2 of an 8 inch by 2 inches, 1 time. And then 8, 2 of an 8 inch by 1 inch. And that we need 2 times. So, these are the measurements. So, let's get started. But... I don't do this on camera because this is really large and it don't fit on my desk. So I need to go downstairs on the large dinner table to do this. But as you can see, we can start with the biggest spine and then two pieces. Yeah. And then one small spine and one piece. And again, one small piece, small um, spine, and then one piece. So we have four pieces, four pieces of this, and two small spines, <laughs> and one big, bigger spine. So that is how it looks like when we are done in a minute. So... You all know how I am doing this. I am going to use um, duct tape with this. And this was just a tryout. I did use a little um, sport tape um, over this. But I don't know if I'm going to use it for this. Because I think it will get smoochy if, um, if we are going to use it. But perhaps it won't. If I keep my hands clean, but I know myself. So, but I think I will give it a try. But I am first going to do it with duct tape, so it's extra strength. And I think then I am going to do it with um, with with sport tape. And so let's see how that turned out. So, back in one second. Hey guys, the end result is that we glued all pieces together and then it looked like this. Same as the tryout and it's really big so I hope <laughs> I get a nice space to work on the inside but I really like how it turns out. So this is how it looks on the top. These are the two inserts the two outside pages and so yeah I think it's thick enough so the next thing what I am going to do is um, I am going to use brown because I think that's really cute with the paper set and I am going to put first the outside all the way around and of course I am going to measure them, but let's do one together. I am going to leave just a little tiny um, white border. And then I'm just going to measure. And here also a little piece of. And 
this we are going to cut and you can use any color paper you like of course but for me I am going to use the brown one for this time so let's see if this fits yes that fits so now I can glue this down I am seeing if I do I need this to smooth I don't think so I can yeah I, I do I think that's just a finishing touch just a little smooching the edges then I grab my tape and I go as close as I can get to the edges clear glue just in the middle and then I just put this on the right spot and now I just have a little white edge And this I will do the same on this side and this side and this side the the I call these <laughs> the spines I leave it for just one moment I be going to decide uh, later what I am going to do with that but first I am going to cover these up so I'll be back in a minute Next thing, I already put my brown all over besides the spine and the next thing I am going to do is search my uh, front cover which I want to use and um, I think I want to use this one and we are going to use um, some bookbinders leather well not it, it, it's 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 not bookbinders linen this is um, leather and uh, this is I'm going to use so what I'm going to do is I put this in the middle like this because the leather is overlapping this a little so I hope I manage this but I am going to put some design paper on this side so this is the front and then this is the back and then inside here we also need but on the inside we need some design paper to go all the way like this so I hope that makes sense so these two sides that are on the middle we put some design paper all the way to the end and when you flip this over you have the front and the back cover and here we do this in the middle so we have something left okay let's search nice design papers mm -hmm. okay now i have the front and the back and before I go decorate this side, and which I almost did, uh, we need to use some magnets because we want this to close, of course. Let's see. Oh, here are my magnets. So let's use a few. These are very tiny, so 
we can use a few to stay all down let's say I want this and here is going to be some overlapping so I am going to attach this not too far to the side because that part is going to be a little thicker so and I think I want a few here too see how that goes Just peel this off, this little piece, double sided tape, and then see how it goes. Okay, so we are going to close this how it's supposed to be, and that's like this. And then we are going to attach these two. Perfect angle. Flip this around, and this should be also good. So you see, it already stuck to each other. So now we can peel this off and put some tape on. Yep, and now if you close this, it's really nice attached to each other. Yay! Cool. Okay, so now I can apply my design paper. And, and I almost <laughs> glue it down. But just you see, I already put some glue on, but almost forgot my magnet. But just on time. Just on time. So, put some glue on this nice piece. And... Okay, and now this piece, this glue is also dried, <laughs> in the meantime, so I'll put some new on, here we go, and this is going to be nice beside this little strip. Okay, and let's see, I need another strip. Oh, here it is. So I am going to do the exact same thing as on this piece. So I am going to cut this. Today I finally 
have um, found a little piece. <laughs> um, let me tell you what was happened. Um, my dog got sick Friday, last Friday, and really sick. And um, and I went to the doctor in December also with her, but then they couldn't say what it was. But now she is was really, really, really sick. And um, a friend of ours recommend another uh, vet doctor in the next town of us. And he said that this doctor will be better. And she will he will know what she has. So I thought why not? So I went to this doctor and really my my dog was really sick. There was nothing nothing in her and she had a really blown up stomach. And that she has uh, for many years and I thought she was fat. So I put her on a diet, but oh my gosh. Um, but a normal vet, I think, um, will see what, what was with the matter with her because that stomach really popped out in the last December also. So, but if the vet tells me that she cannot find anything, then yeah, who am I to judge to say you are wrong because I did not study for a vet. But this doctor, I, oh, I went, he immediately, immediately did um, know what she had with even no um, further, um, I call it, uh, further um, to look in, such as um, a scan or whatever. No, he said we are going to operate her right away and uh, you can leave her right this minute here with me and then um, I am going to search, do a surgery on her and we see what what happened with her but I think her, um, how you call that? Womp? I believe it's a womp. Someone told me it's a womp. <laughs> that was infected and that was really big. So the next day he called and really I did not sleep that night, really I don't, um, because he said if we are on time, if we are not too late already, but I really got to cut her open to see what's wrong with her and I think that is that and I hope we are um, in time with it. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did not realize he was in his bedroom. Um, okay, so <laughs> that was my son. Um, so I want to tell you further. Um, so I did not get very, very much sleep. And the next day um, the doctor called and he had did the surgery on my dog and it uh, it was solved it was indeed a very large really it was this large and and it's a kern terrier so he he um how you call it he is a professional over 50 years yes this man was 70 years old and a very professional vet and he said, I saw many things in my career, but this I did not see anywhere else on such a small dog having such a large um, womp. <laughs> so, yeah, I really am happy that we just got it on time. So yeah, that was really heartbreaking and for the next days, well, the complete weekend was really heartbreaking. She was so, so sick with, with the seduction and, and well, it was really heartbreaking. But um, today, well, yesterday she ate a little and she drinks good and she uh, pee good. So. 
I think in the next few days it will be recovered but God she is so weak and so sick so yeah so that's why I'm not that really focused <laughs> at the moment and I really am trying my best but okay so now you know um, a little bit of my dog and um, yeah so okay you already see what's inside of this and I think it's really nice so now we are going to put some on the spine and for that I am going to use this so let's see let's do first this piece and let's see how much I want this to come over we don't want to I think where's my ruler oh it stays already so I think Mm, I think this will be enough. I think two is a little too much. Normally I do two, but I think one. Uh, yeah, let's make it one and a half. Let's make a mark at that also one and a half and that's in inches about uh, one two three four five of an eight so now I am going to measure this one to this and then I am going to cut this and I hope my paper trimmer cuts this so we'll see Test it out. Mm. Uh, it does it, but not quite very neat, but you just can manage a little with the scissor. Because we are going to cover this up anyway, so it's no big deal. Okay, so this will be enough for this piece. Let's see, the height will be the same as my brown. So we need to cut out just this little piece. let's check 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 yes this will do okay next step what I'm going to do I am going to put all my tape on here all the way as close as I can to the edges and then I will be coming back to you okay I peeled off all my tape um, just in case I want to use some art glitter glue to put everything on its place okay put my pin back in if he wants to come come here <laughs> I always put my my needle back in so the the little thing here is not going to be closed. Really like this bottle. Yep. Okay. Now we are going to attach this piece. Um, going to use my marks as my guideline on top. And then gentle lay it down and when I am satisfied I am going to push everything down. Grab my bone folder and make sure 
that my tape and my glue is really attached good. This will fit, and, but I don't like this edge. So what I am going to do is, what was I supposed to do? Oh yeah, some ribbon. Um, let's see what kind. You can use anything. You can use this. You can use some white. And you're just going to see which one you prefer white or you can use pink or wait just a minute let's see I have something I have to look wait just a minute well, you can use almost anything but I'm just trying to see what's really nice. I really like this. Or the white. Hmm. Okay. Difficult, difficult. I think I will put first this one on. And then, but let's see which one <laughs> I prefer. <laughs> yep, I think I found it. I put first a white ribbon over top, so the leather is stay really nice put, and then over top I did this glitter piece sticker. It's a sticker, so yeah, we really like it. We really like how it turns out. Yep. Cool. So now I'm going to do exact the same thing on this side too. On these two pieces. Yay! So, back soon. Okay, the outside cover is ready. Ready to go. And I really, really like how it turns out. It really is how I had it in my mind. So if we open it up. So this is the inside and now we are going to put some brown papers in here. And um, let's see which one because I have two different papers. This is the 250 gram and I also have the same papers but then in a lighter. I believe this is 120. So for the outside it was perfect to use really good heavy uh, chipboard. But for here I don't know if we are supposed to be. Because this is really going to be. But I think. Yeah I think we just do. Yeah I, I made up my mind. <laughs> I am going to use this one. And I will see how this works. So let's see how many do we have in use. You definitely don't want to be um, an end in this in this fold line. So this is going to be very nice over it. And then the second one is also and so on and on and on. So yeah, that is what we are going to do. So I am going to cut this little piece off. And then let's see how many do we need. One, two, three, yeah, four. I need four pages of these, so I will cut them and then I will glue them in and I'll be back in just a sec. Now just one quick 
uh, tip that I want you to give is I always put some um, extra tape on the spine. So let's see, let's peel this off. That's the ribbon for extra strength to be here. And now I want an extra piece just on here, uh, on both sides, so your cardstock is not going anywhere. And that is exactly what we want. We want it to be stay on the chipboard. Okay. Now I have to put some tape on here and then it's ready to go. And yeah, we do need a lot of tape. I really like the tape because if you are using tape then it will stay immediately stays put and because I don't want to wait. Who does? I don't. <laughs> That's why I am happy to use tape. Okay. Now I'm ready and I'm going to put some extra glue in the middle. And then this can be on here. Same as we did by the outside. Just grab the next piece and we do the exact same thing. Peel this off. If you did some ribbon over your spine, I always like to do that. Then the tape. Okay, next piece, do a little smooching. Put some tape on. I just get back from checking out my dog and I noticed that the wound did a little bleeding. Oh my gosh. I really hate when to see that happens. So I hope <laughs> that she understood that I told her not to lick on the wound. But it still gets a dog, but really she understands me so good. I almost think she's a person. <laughs> really. She knows I meant well. She really knows that I am going to fix it up. <laughs> so 
So now she is sleeping. So in the meantime, we can craft a little. Yay! So okay, next thing is let's see. We don't want. Um, yeah, I think we just can't put this to each other. And then this still overlaps the spine. Okay, so next thing till the end. Okay, now that we have put everything on, now we can fold the spine. So I move it to the first one because this glue is already dry, I believe. <laughs> I hope. So what you now do is a little bending and search where your fold line is. And once you have that, you make your paper is going to be bendable like this. Ta da! That's one. And now the other one is here and here. And do the exact same thing. And this is why I put some extra tape on. Yep, here we go. This goes very well. Okay, then the next one is here. And do the same thing. Just a little bending so you know where your um, spine opening is and put it down. Okay, next one. Let me see, where is it? Here it is. So your bone folder is working your paper. So you can bend it. Here you go. Yay! And then the last one. Perhaps it's easier to turn it over. Let's see. This is the first. And this is the first one. This is the second one. Oh, be careful that you don't tear your paper. I almost did. And then bend it. Yep, there we go. And then we have a perfect inside. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yes, the cover is done. Now is the fun part. Yay! Do the pages and do everything inside. But first, I'm going to check my dog. Back soon. Mm -hmm.